can you believe it has been a whole year? Never could we have imagined a year ago that we would still not be back to what we considered normal. But here we are, still wearing masks, still social distancing, still limited in our travel and activities. I think about the changes we've experienced here at the church, even in the way that Giddens Chapel is utilized. We're set up here with technology that allows us to have virtual and hybrid gatherings. We're set up with little desks to support our pod ministry, to help our families who are still engaged with virtual learning a whole year later. Just outside the doors of Giddens Chapel, we set up every Sunday morning for an outdoor worship experience as a way to be creative in the midst of COVID challenges. We have adapted in so many ways. We have been challenged in so many ways, and we have grown in so many ways. It was right here in Giddens Chapel that I sat a year ago and recorded the very first video devotional message. And I have to admit something to you. I was not at all comfortable with that. I had never had to record myself uh, offering a video message in that way. And it stretched me beyond what I was comfortable with, but I knew it was an important way for us to stay engaged and connected for what we hoped would be a short period of time. I think about the ways that um, God calls us to stretch beyond our comfort zone. It might be hard getting started at first, but once we start living out that call, it becomes a little easier. It becomes a little more fluid for us as we live out God's call on our lives. As you begin to feel a bit more comfortable being out and about, being around people again, I hope that you will be open to the way that God might be calling you, challenging you to be out of your comfort zone and maybe share a bit about your faith and the way that you have grown in this past year in your relationship with Christ. Be willing to share that with someone else. I want to share a few verses with you from Psalm 51. We often read the Psalm on Ash Wednesday. It starts off, I have mercy on me according to your steadfast love. But when we look a little bit further into the Psalm, we hear some of these words, let me hear joy and gladness. Create in me a pure heart. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. I hope that today you will look for joy. I hope that as you begin to interact more with those around you, that some of the ways you've grown in your relationship with Christ will shine through for others. Allow God to stretch you as you are called to new ways of serving and sharing. I hope you have a wonderful day today.